tip as an ISO is to plan your day. So plan your day time management. First thing to do would be to look at your schedule before um, you're done with work. So if you're um, teleworking um, at the end of business or close of business, check your calendar to make sure there are no uh, new pop-up meetings and plan accordingly. Um, so set reminders um, if if you need to accomplish a task because sometimes it could be so busy and you'll forget to do something. So set reminders for yourself. Uh, you could use your smartphone. Just don't put any um, sensitive uh, information in there. Or you could set uh, reminders on out in Outlook on your calendar. Um, write down your tasks. Um, what I typically like to do is have check boxes um, against each task and um, when I'm done, when I complete a task, I check it off with a red check mark. So more ISO tips. Um, number one is to trust but verify. Trust but verify. Trust that they'll send you the right information. Make sure to verify that the information is correct. Um, don't assume that um, people understand what you're saying. So always try to go through what it is that um, they send you. So let's say you request for evidence um, and they provide the evidence to you based on what you um, specified. Still go through the evidence, make sure it's correct. Um, if they say they have something, um, ask for evidence. CYA, cover your asset. Uh, make sure that you um, have things uh, written in email so have your email communication so if someone says you're going to do something make sure that you have that in email because what happens is people tend to have amnesia selective amnesia that is so they'll say uh, well you never told me that or um, he never requested this from me so make sure that you have um, things backed up in your email that you could always point to on this date at this time this is what happened um, as an ISO, you will be required to think on the spot. So uh, my tip here is not to feel pressure to provide an answer on the spot. So uh, if it's something you're not clear on, something you can't provide an answer to, um, it's okay to say, let me get back with you. Let me check with my team. I'll get back with you. Or let me write this down. I'll get back uh, with you at a later time. A good way to help you um, with your decision making process is to have a decision matrix. So have an Excel spreadsheet with each task that you do on a daily basis or each type of question you think might come up and then have a corresponding um, solution. So if it's a um, question on encryption, then your answer would be to point to the policy on encryption. It's a question uh, about storage. Find out um, your uh, corresponding uh, response will be uh, the policies on storage, um, storage retention policies. Uh, if it's a cloud system, what uh, are the storage requirements and stuff and things of that nature. Another tip is to keep your bosses informed. So. Uh, you don't have to CC your boss on every single email, but it's good to keep them informed so that they're not blindsided on anything and they might be able to step in if you're going astray. Um, it also makes you look good um, if you manage that uh, correctly. Uh, it makes you look good because they know that you're keeping them in the loop because really managers report to other managers so they report to senior managers and they like to report on statuses so it's they like to get informed so they can report uh, effectively to uh, their higher ups so if you provide them information and you keep them in the loop they're able to better communicate this to their uh, higher ups Um, research admin manuals for systems. So look up any manual that you see for a system that you might be uh, asked to support. 
look up the user guide, look up the uh, security section of the user manual, and you will find a lot of your answers there. When sending documents out for review, um, it's a good practice to highlight the specific sections that you want reviewed or have comments on the sections that you want reviewed. Because if you send someone a you know 50 page or 100 page document, nine times out of 10, they won't read it. But if you have highlighted sections in there, they'll go directly to the um, highlighted sections. And then in your email, um, attach the document in the body of your email, um, just list a summary of the questions that you have. So that way they might not even need to review um, the document per se, but respond to your direct questions. When looking at artifacts, um, double check the time, the date, environment, system name, version number, POC. So these are things that um, we typically forget to do sometimes when we send out documents. It might have the wrong version number. It might have, uh, you know, in the footer or header. It might have um, the wrong POC, the wrong POC uh, email, wrong POC phone number, because a lot of these documents are created from templates. So um, sometimes there are mistakes uh, when you just copy and paste and sometimes forget to change uh, the default information in the template. So make sure that you, um, before sending out a document, review uh, the document and make sure you, re you review these uh, key points that I've mentioned here. Um, use positive words in your communication. Try as much as possible to avoid using the word no. Because yet what, no sounds very negative, so you could avoid saying no by responding with the right answer. So you don't say no, but just respond with the right answer. So um, let me think of an example. If someone says, are we allowed to save information on USB drives? Instead of saying, no, you're not allowed to do that, which kind of sounds hostile or, you know, um, you could say the policy, uh, thanks for the uh, question or whatever. Um, the policy for the organization states that um, st storing data on USB drives is prohibited. So I, I've said what the policy is without using the word no. All right. Um, again, always get things in writing. Uh, always get things in writing to cover your uh, cover yourself. All right. Thanks for listening to this um, lecture. Hope you found it valuable.